brutal out there. Em is uh, in the town of Pipe. Hi, Emily. Poor thing. Yeah, I'm not even shivering anymore. I think I'm just completely numb already, Rachel and Pete. Oof. It really is just bitterly cold out here. And something that's not helping is the wind. Well, something that happened over the weekend, too, the wind pretty much picked up. And look at these massive ice shoves that have come ashore. Don Herman is here with me this morning with Sunk Dive and Ice Service in Oshkosh. You know, you've been in the ice business for, for years. You've seen ice shoves, but why is it so different to see them now in January. Well, this year what happened was we had a little warm weather in, on Saturday. And we had, you know, we don't get 60 mile an hour winds a lot in the January. And this normally happens in April, March, April, when the ice is deteriorating. But this ice is 12 inches thick. You're moving like 7 billion pounds this wind. And so this, this doesn't happen because the ice is so strong. It and this means happen. that there's open water out there on Lake Winnebago. Wherever the ice shelf here, there's open water on the east shore. I mean, on the west shore. And the ice conditions became like almost excellent to very dangerous in one night. Let's get your ruler out because you brought it with you. I got my ruler. Let's go see. We're just going to show you how thick this ice is. This ice is... We're at 12 inches. That wow. is just unheard of Ooh. the wind to move this this wow. time of year. And, and this 12 inches will hold a car. It's unbelievable. It just doesn't happen this time of year. And look at around us, like behind Don and I, look at these, I mean, what has been busted up. Like it's unbelievable what these ice shoves have done. No, normally in the spring of the year, we get these and it, it does some damage, you know, but the ice is deteriorating so it kind of breaks off. This doesn't break off, that's why. So, so you got more damage. Yeah, what are these people gonna do now? They're gonna have to wait till April <laughs> in order to do anything here because this ice isn't gonna go away. No. It's a pretty unbelievable. But we have to we have to really tell everybody this it, it made the lake very dangerous until we get some cold weather. Because very dangerous. You were gonna go out over the weekend and put up bridges, weren't you? We were gonna put our bridges out Saturday. Now we're not gonna now we're not gonna be able to do that. So what's gonna happen from here now? I mean, obviously it's Mother we have to Nature's monitor, call. We have to monitor the ice every every day. You know, it's still open water out there because with this wind, you can feel it. It's cold. It's still not freezing. It's still open this morning from where the open water is. Yeah. And it's open from on the west shore, from almost the Fondelac all the way to Nina. There's about 150 foot open water that. Uh, that's still open today. And if it keeps staying windy, windy like this, it won't freeze. It won't freeze. All right, Don. Made the lake dangerous. Yeah, definitely. Don, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate it. Rachel and Pete, we're going to send it back to you, and we're also going to talk to some of the residents out here. This is their property. We're going to talk to them about this and how they haven't seen anything like this in about 30 years. I mean, ever since they lived here. So yeah. we'll send it back to you for now. Thanks, Emily.